ultimately to the Germans. Now our victory is ultimately won. Let us treat them very kindly, as we would a valued friend. We might send them out some bishops as a form of lease and lend. Let's be sweet to them and day by day repeat to them that sterilization simply isn't done. Let's sweetly sympathize again and help the scum to rise again, but don't let's be beastly to the hum. We must be kind and with an open mind we must endeavor to find a way to let the Germans know that now the war is over they are not the ones who have to pay. We must be sweet and tactful and discreet and now they've suffered defeat we mustn't let them feel upset or ever get the feeling that we're cross with them or hate them. Our future policy must be to reinstate them. Don't Let's be beastly to the Germans, for they're civilized when all is said and done. Though they gave us science, culture, art, and music to excess, they also gave us two world wars and Dr. Rudolf Hess. Let's be meek to them and turn the other cheek to them and try to arouse their latent sense of fun. Let's give them full our parity and treat the rats with charity, but don't let's be beastly to the Hun. Don't let's be beastly to the Germans, for you can't deprive a gangster of his gun. Though they've been a little naughty to the Czechs and Poles and Dutch, I can't believe those countries really minded very much. Let's be free with them and share the BBC with them. We mustn't prevent them basking in the sun. Let's soften their defeat again and build their bloody fleet again, but don't let's be beastly to the Hun.